I became interested in this topic uh, when I read about the occurrence of dead people's profiles on social media. And I had those experiences myself. Um, but then I started thinking about this, not just in terms of the implications for, uh, for grief and for the, the emotional impact, but also the impact on society. So I'm a, a trained sociologist for my undergraduate. So I wanted to bring in this sociological perspective of also looking at this as a societal phenomenon which uh, is linked to, to power, which is linked to collective memory and all kinds of uh, societal processes, not only related to the, the bereaved family. So my research for the past couple of years has been within the area of digital ethics. The focus of the research that I've done for the past three years is on the question of what happens to a person's data when they die, but not only an individual person, but I'm interested in what happens to the current generation. All of us, all of our data when we die, where does that go and who has a right to it? I think winning the award for me was a sign that uh, I've been doing something right and that I've been going in the right direction. Uh, it has really been also an acknowledgement that taking risk in academia pays off. I think for my, my future career, this is going to mean a lot, uh, having such a well-known institution as Scopus and Elsevier behind me, backing me, uh, it gives me that extra confidence of knowing that despite recently completing my PhD, uh, I've actually got something to say uh, and that will mean a lot going forward. So I think I'll spend at least a decade trying to live up to, to this uh, amazing award. I guess one thing that I'm proud of is highlighting the political aspects of this phenomenon in terms of uh, who owns the data. Because these data are not just uh, the remains of uh, individuals, but put together, it's also our collective past. It's really an unprecedented uh, historical archive. So naturally, whomever controls this archive also has a great political power in terms of shaping our understanding of the past.